Welcome to this demonstration video of Cyclone 9.0. This particular section covers the roadway alignment tool set and the enhancements to that tool set. So let's bring up Cyclone. Let's bring up a typical roadway. So this has a lot of curves in it and uh, demonstrates quite nicely the new abilities of the uh, feature set inside of Cy Cyclone 9.0. So we can go down here to the new alignment station manager dialog and this whole dialog has been revamped and improved. So we can get, go down here and import alignments. Importantly, alignments are now supported from any CAD system that exports a land XML alignment. So you can just simply bring in any alignment um, that matches your point cloud and then when you say OK it goes ahead and brings in that alignment they, all alignments typically come in at elevation zero, but you can uh, nicely pick the elevation that you would like the alignment set at. So you can click here and watch, and the alignment automatically pops in to the elevation of the point cloud. Okay, so full CAD alignments are supported with all the curves and uh, arcs that are typical in most alignments. And I'll just shut this off and show you that alignment right there. And this particular alignment came from AutoCAD Civil 3D. So what we're going to do for the demonstration purposes is work on a section right down here and create break lines and cross sections of this uh, area right here. Here is the demonstration piece which I'll be running the new alignment tool on. I'm going to go ahead and start the alignment manager which has been totally revamped with a new look and feel. Go ahead and import an alignment. And uh, it's important to note that this alignment can be from AutoCAD or MicroStation or any other valid LEN XML file. Pick curb, say OK. And go ahead and it comes in at zero. Most elevations are at z uh, alignments are at zero, so we want to go ahead and pick an elevation on the point cloud and we can see then it comes in and matches. All right, so then I'm going to want to say um, create um, sections every 20 feet. So as soon as I do that, I can see the sections show up on the point cloud in this nice plan view. And I can go ahead and bring up the point cloud. OK, and it gives a nice, uh, nice area there. I can, and as I said, I want to demonstrate the refinement. I can further refine the uh, point cloud here limit box and just say update all. Alright, so I'm going to bring this down here and I want to start drawing my template. So um, I can use exaggeration. I have one on now and you can see the this is normal, but I can exaggerate the elevation. As I back up here I can really see the curb, flow line and so forth. We go ahead and advance one station and there. Wow, that really shows up really clearly. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my temp template and start there, go here, go here, and go right to the edge of the pavement, say create. So I've got back of curb, which I can assign, and I've got top of curb, and I've got flow line, and I've got edge of pavement. Okay, and then I can save this, right, and then as soon as I do, I can see this shows up. Now if I change my vertical exaggeration, you can see this changes too. So we can see that here and let's go move on to our next station. Okay, so let's go back one, right, because we didn't do the first one. So move that down, move it up, you can see quite a bit of elevation difference. So I'm going to go ahead and move this into place and then go to the next station. You can see that's already there. Let's go to our next station and I'm just going to move that up into place. Again, just move it around working on doing this automatically, but that will come. Go ahead and move that into place. Okay, so as soon as I'm done, I can go to objects and say create objects. You can see it creates cogo points and break lines because they do not activate. And then I can see my entire section here. Back of curb, flow line, top of curb, and edge of pavement all the way down through the whole length of the curb. 
that describes the new alignment and section roadway manager that will make your brake lines and real Kogo points. The last thing you can do is export land XML. So you can export these objects here to a file that will go ahead and export directly to a land XML format that can be brought into any other system, CAD system that supports that kind of export.